handsome home buyer here this week's vlog out in Calverton to bring you the dopest fucking thing I have ever seen I am fired up and those of you who know me know that I'm fired up all the time I'm 10 times fired up than I normally are we are standing in front of the only wait for it 3d printed house in the country period good buddy of mine has the patent created this system to 3d print anything but he is doing houses two people concrete his machine 40 hours prints a house at less than 50 percent of the cost carbon neutral even carbon negative this thing is going to change the world we are here with the COO right now he's going to take us on a little tour through the house we're going to talk to him about the technology what to expect and what they've been doing what's coming in the future I am fucking fired up come inside let's go check it out we're rocking. Kirk. Good morning. Good to see you, man. How's Welcome. everything? Good. Great. Everybody, this is Kirk, Director of Operations for... SQ4D. 3D Printing. We are standing in front of the coolest freaking thing that I've ever seen. One of the world's largest 3D printed structures. Uh, we're in Calverton, New York, in mm -hmm. Riverhead. Uh, we've printed a 1,900 square foot structure. Um, it's cement extruding out of a nozzle. We have watched this machine go. Pops out of house. So basically what you're telling me essentially is you are 3D printing, like the way they 3D print your phone case that yeah, you just showed me a few minutes ago. Earlier. If I can have a machine just do this, I can okay. go to sleep, wake up, and I have a phone case in the morning. Okay. Why can't I do it with a house? What's stopping me from doing it with a, a house that someone can live in? Someone can raise a family and generations to come. So as far as, you know, setting it up and then it starts printing, is it kind of like you set the coordinates, you set it and forget it? Or is there someone that's actually... You know, playing like a video game per se. Um, there is someone in the controls. There's someone okay. in the command. Um, they're running this, the ship. Um, it is set it and forget it to a degree. Okay. But you have to watch out for other variables as far as where the sun is, how much more, uh, what's your UV index, the moisture content of the sand you're actually working Oh, with. shit. Okay. Um, as we are in a cement yard, we have an abundance of sand and cement, but you have to watch the moisture content in the air, what time of year it is, seasonally, geographically. Okay. So there, there's a There's a lot of science to it. There's a finesse. There's a there's a there's science to it and um, but it can be down to two people. What's your background by the way? You're a smart um, guy. You sound like a smart guy. I'm a college dropout. <laughs> <laughs> so I dropped out of college and uh, here we are printing houses. Um, now I the uh, most successful people. I've had my hands in a lot of things okay. and I've just been driven and passionate, just like my uh, my peers here. And we just want to we, we we see this as simple and our machine is simple. Our process is simple. Why can't I just keep building houses this way? No, it's smart. It makes sense. So take us through the outside. I mean, you have the design, obviously, you can see from the beads laying one on top of the other. How long does it take to print a house of this size? We, we printed these walls in 48 print hours. Okay. So that's spread out over eight days, nine days, and it's just continuous printing. Uh, we, we have, a, we have the, the finesse, the balance of stacking these layers, watching our time, watching how the concrete is curing, stacking these layers successfully okay. so that we can come back the next day and print right on top. What is the cure, like, so basically 24 hours, you could put the next layer on top. Probably even sooner. At what point is it 100% cured so then you could start putting the, the truss system on? Once we, once we finish printing, these are eight foot walls. Once we stop, we give it the, a two week cure period, dry, dry rate. Okay. And once that comes in, we can then we backfill the walls, put our anchor bolts, and then we have the truss roof system installed. Oh, it's all tied in together. As soon as, soon as this is cured and ready to go and approved, we have someone come in and put the truss roof system. It's another piece of the puzzle. Absolutely awesome. Can we uh, can we go inside take a little tour? Take a tour. Awesome. Appreciate it. Bedrooms. I think this is about eleven by eleven. Yeah, that makes sense. Pretty large closet. Simple space. So we finish the walls and give you an accent wall up to show you the process. So we think that looks pretty cool and it's, it's, a, it's a nice touch to make you feel like you're, you're still in a home, but this home is 3D printed. Bro, this is, I, I'm buying a house in Shirley right now. Three bedroom, one bathroom, no basement. This is literally the exact house. One, two, three bedrooms, all good size. All tied into a common bath, pretty good size bathroom. You can have your normal bathtub or we can create something custom. And it's, it's, it's basic, but it, it fills your needs and it's, it's a cheap way to build. So this is your master, some nice size windows, nice size closet. It's, it's simple living space, but it's, it's been affordable and 
and a, and a fast way to build. So for those people that don't understand exactly what a trust system is and how you know easy, inexpensive, and, and how it speeds up the build, can you just explain that a little bit to people? Okay, so the trust system is, is pre-engineered on off-site based on our building plans, and it comes together like a puzzle. Yeah. Um, you, you set up all your, your, your rafters and your trust connections. Mm -hmm. You can line them up piece by piece and just kind of jig it out, and it goes up very quickly. It's, it's timber. It's, it's light, it's cheaper than uh, a normal roof system that you would put in, mm -hmm. and it, it was done in a, maybe two days. The one thing I'm curious about also is, obviously, it takes a shit ton of concrete to print this thing. You have two people. How do, how do you keep feeding the concrete, the mix, to make sure that it's the proper proportion? How does that work exactly? So that, that's very important. So I'm gonna draw a comparison to the plastic 3D printers. You okay. buy a roll of filament, it almost looks like weed whacker water. Okay, yes. Um, you put that on, you set that your printer up, and you're, you're extruding plastic. You're melting it, you're extruding it like a hot glue gun going around. Yep. The concrete printers, somewhat the same, but a little different, but we need to, we need to have that control factor. So you're getting a pre-manufactured roll of filament. Mm -hmm. I need to make the concrete just as controlled. So we use a, a dry batch plant, we mix the concrete on site okay. to whatever specifications we find that are necessary. And one, we have to watch that control factor and the relationship it has with our length of our hose and how fast the machine is running. And once we're in control of that, we can let it go. You, you, di you dial it in, you get, you get it right based on your weather conditions, and you go. So getting that control factor is huge and that's only going to be optimized down the line with a, with a, a, a special blend. Kirk, thank you very much. I really appreciate the tour. Unbelievable, mind-blowing game-changing design. Super proud of you guys. I can't wait to see the next iteration. If people are interested in following along, seeing what you're doing, possibly working with you, possibly building something down the road when you guys are ready, how do people find you? How do they get in touch with you? Um, you could just Google SQ4D or largest 3D printed structure. We're, we're right there. Um, we're, we're driving towards the future. Um, one of my favorite sayings is rocket ships don't have rear view mirrors because mm -hmm. we're just going. We're just going. Um, I can't wait to invite you to the next house. Oh, I'm pumped to see it. The next one's going to be in Riverhead? Right around the corner. Beautiful. Handsome home buyer in Calverton with my man Kirk in front of the first 3D printed home in America. You saw it here first. Thanks, man. Appreciate your time.